I'm Ray Stein at your leisure at the Salt Creek Wildlife Management Area in northern Box Elder County. And up here, the swans are in by the thousands. And boy, are they having a great time. The din is loud and nonstop as migrating tundra swans bob for breakfast in the pools of this remote rest stop. Nestled between Tremont and Corinne, Salt Creek is captured by a managed system of dikes and ponds on what was once farmland. It's a spectacular scene with the Wellsville Mountains, one of the steepest ranges in North America, as a backdrop. This is a great marsh up here in northern Utah. Um, about 8,000 acres of wetlands we got up here. and. Lots of areas to come and view these birds that we're looking at today. Each March, refuge manager Chad Cranny hosts Swan Day at the Crompton Knoll Kiosk, one of the best waterfowl viewing sites anywhere. This is this is our favorite marsh. It's the only place in I think in the United States where you can stand on ground and look over a marsh. You know, there's always something to see here. And uh, with a scope, you know, you can identify half a dozen species of ducks all the time. On Swan Day, Utah Wildlife Division workers set up spotting scopes and offer binoculars to give visitors an up-close look at the birds without bothering them. Yes, there is a lot of swans here this time of year. They're actually uh, on their migration back to the north, up to their breeding grounds in the Alaskan tundra. And this is where they stop over this time of year to to regain their fuel sources or their nutrient reserves and, and get enough energy to fly back up north. Heading north from their Southern California wintering grounds, they go bottom up to feed on the sago pondweed growing in the shallows. The common tundra species funnels through Utah's marshes by the thousands each year. Their larger cousin, but less often seen trumpeter swan, also makes a visit. Ducks called widgeons filter in to grab bits of leftover weed which float to the surface. Oh, we get all sorts of kinds of birds. Lots of different waterfowl, up to 20 different species of waterfowl. Um, lots of shorebirds, avocets, stilts, snipe. Um, wide variety of birds, bald eagles. Pairs of Canada geese and sandhill cranes passing through on their way north also charm the Swan Day crowd. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I'm pleased that they open this up for the public. I'm almost as excited looking at it as those ducks and geese and swans are, I think. <laughs> what do you see? Beautiful birds. Margie Koch and Jacqueline Myers drove all the way from Riverton on a spur of the moment quest to see the swans. Are you happy you came? I am so happy. It's Why? What, what have you seen? Well, the sun is shining so you can get good photos and I love photography. You'll be able to get good photos for a few more weeks. The swan migration will begin to wind down as the weather warms, but the birds will return again in the fall on their way south. Salt Creek is a little known bird watcher's paradise. I'm Ray Stein at your leisure in Northern Box Elder County. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.